Hi everyone, it's Gina from Gina K Designs and welcome back to another 5 minute card video. Today I'm going to show you how to use the two step poinsettia stamp set and I'm going to use a little Gamsol and colored pencils. To start I'm going to use our brick wall stencil and I'm using some soft stone ink to create a little bit of texture on a piece of white cardstock that I cut out using Master Layouts 2. This is the stitch die from Master Layouts 2. I cut my white panel from that and then I cut a black panel from the plain rectangle in Master Layouts 2. And you'll see that at the end of the card when I do my assembly. So I'm going to stamp the line art image of the poinsettia and I'm using the top of the Misty. I'm going to stamp this in black onyx ink and I'm going to stamp it twice to get a nice dark impression. I set this up in my Misty this way so that I can set up the second layer of stamps and I can do some mass production. It's easy to mass produce this uh, design if you've got everything all set up on the Misty ahead of time. So now that I have this image set, then I'm going to move it to the other side of the Misty and I'm going to position the inside parts of those poinsettia flowers over the black line art image. This is a very easy stamp to line up. All you have to do is just kind of look along the edges and it seems to line up very easily. You can see my stamps are very stained because I've been making lots of cards with this one and I've been using lots of different red ink. Now once I have that secured onto the Misty, I'm going to use some dark carnation for this one and I'm going to stamp this a couple of times to get a nice solid impression. I just love this color for these poinsettias. It's just beautiful. And I'm going to stamp that. I'm going to use my Chucky tool to put a little extra pressure on that because it's two images so it's kind of big. And then I'm going to stamp it a second time to get a nice solid image. These stamps are fairly new so they're not completely conditioned yet, although I did do a couple of stampings using some different reds to see which red I wanted to use. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to position my green stems into the Misty. So I've already laid those on top. They're very easy to line up. And I'm going to use some grass green ink to ink them up and stamp them over that line art image. Now I happen to have two Misty stamping tools, but if you only have one, just do all the parts of the black and red first. Do as many of those as you want and then just set up the green parts afterwards and finish them up then. Okay, so you can see I'm getting a nice crisp image here. And now I'm going to use a terracotta Prismacolor pencil to color right along the spots on the petals where they appear to be coming out of the center of the flower. I'm going to create a little depth on here and I'm going to use Prismacolor pencils and Gamsol to create the shading. You can use Gamsol right over Gina K Designs dye ink and it will not affect it. Now I'm taking that same pencil and I'm just doing some light strokes down onto each petal that I'm going to smooth out with the Gamsol, but that's going to give it lots of texture. It's going to make it feel more like a real petal. Now using some Gamsol and a blending stump, I'm going to dip my blending stump into the Gamsol and then in a circular motion pull that color down and then scrub over those lines. So I'm getting that shading right at the base and then by scrubbing that down over the lines I'm smoothing out those lines a little bit so the texture is more subtle. It's not so obvious as just big strokes. Now I've pre-assembled my card base by mounting that white panel with the brick onto a black panel and then onto a white card base. And I cut this image out using the die that comes in the kit with this poinsettia. And I'm placing that onto that panel overlapping just a little bit outside of the black layer. 
For my greeting, I used one of the sentiment strips that comes in the kit, and I'm adhering that with a little bit of adhesive dot runner. I'm just going to overlap that on top of the flower. Now I want to accent the little stamen, the little centers of the flowers, so I'm using a white gel pen. I really like the Uniball Signo gel pen, and I am just coloring those in with a little bit of white gel. And then I'm going to add some Connect glue and a few Disco Ball sequins. Now you can find this poinsettia and those sentiment strips in the brand new Winter Foliage card kit that's now available at GinaKDesigns.com. Well, here's my finished card. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's 5-minute card video, and I hope you'll give this one a try. Stay tuned to my channel for more 5-minute card videos and more Stampin' Chat Live videos, too. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you again real soon.